Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on WordPress development. And in this video, we'll learn how to develop a free blogging website. So there are many ways where you can actually develop websites. So we are going to focus on WordPress development. And there is certainly some initial investment required. So it will be like you have to buy a domain. Domain you can buy from different portals. We'll prefer GoDaddy. Then you will have to buy a hosting. Again, for hosting, you can have multiple options. We'll be preferring SiteGround here. And then you need to connect the domain and hosting. So domain is the name and hosting is where your files will be kept. It's like whatever blogs you will publish, somewhere it will have to sit, right? The same thing will be for hosting. Now, once you connect domain and hosting, you are ready for development. The next thing we'll do is like, we'll install the WordPress because we are going to use WordPress for development. You can certainly use other platforms for development. We prefer WordPress because it's very easy to install. It's very easy as a non developer to work upon. And also it provides multiple plugin options that you can use for search engine optimization. So once you installed WordPress, then you can install a theme or you can use the default theme provided by WordPress. So in this particular video, since we are going to use the free version, we will prefer to use the default theme, but we will show you how to use the free as well as paid themes. And then you can go and write you know, your blogs, publish your pages, and then we'll perform other operations also. So let's get started. So we on, on GoDaddy, what you need to do is like, you need to create an account and search your blogging website name, whatever you prefer to have. Suppose my website will be called bloggerindianexpress.com. Just, just an example. And what I will see is like, I can buy this particular domain. It is available, right? I will click make it yours. And you can see the prices that is required to be paid here for three years. So I will continue and keep on buying and you know, with my credit card, debit card, UPI, whatever is available, I will pay it out. And then it will be mine. And it takes around eight hours, you know, to uh, the domain to actually start working. So we'll wait for some hours. Suppose uh, you have bought right now and after eight hours, you are ready to proceed to the next step. Then you need to visit to my products. And here you will have to search your domain. Suppose I will take an example called uh, Sigma Earth. So I'm going to use this one. Okay. So what I will do is like, suppose this is the one that I bought. I will click on DNS that is domain name server. So by default, it will be something provided by the GoDaddy, but you will have to change it to your side ground. DNS name or whatever hosting you are going to take you have to use the same name server. So suppose I have already created my account and I am logged in into this particular uh, side ground. So I will be having no websites over here. I will do a new website creation. And since I already have bought domain over GoDaddy, so I will use the same and paste here. So for SiteGround, again, you have to go and search for the, the SiteGround website on Google and uh, thereafter choose the basic option where you have to pay around, uh, you know, uh, $3 per month. It's very cheap for one year. And once you have paid that amount, you, you will be logged in and then you can proceed with these steps. And I will choose start new website and I will choose WordPress. Here I need to provide a uh, the you know uh, website email address and uh, the password so suppose i provided the password and email address i will click continue and then we'll click finish and it will take a few minutes to create a website for you so if i go back to the steps i have bought domain from godaddy bought hosting from sideground I have also started doing the next step. It's like uh, preparing the hosting for the domain installation. I have not yet connected the domain and hosting, but while I'm doing the installation, it is also doing this fourth step that is installing the WordPress. So SiteGround does it by default because I have bought the WordPress based uh, hosting and even while creation of the website, I have chosen the WordPress here. It will be same for other hosting provider like Hostinger. There also you will see the same option. 
and in case you have uh, some other platform for uh, you know domain some other platform for hosting what you need to do is like visit go google or youtube and search how to do installation of a wordpress over there how to connect the particular domain with particular hosting based upon the website from where you have bought okay so after these operations are done then only we'll start with the connection of domain and hosting so as of now if i try to open up sigmarth.com so it is taking me to somewhere else so it's not connected you can see that so what i will do is like i will once like these steps are done i will get the dns domain name server name here same thing i need to maintain over here okay so i have chosen my own name servers i have provided the name server provided by side ground i will save it out i will click continue and it is done so if i will refresh here i can see the name server is changed right and i will try to open sigma earth once again so since it was already connected to some other website so it is reflecting the same here so we will have to wait for an hour so that the connection between them completes so meanwhile we are waiting what we will do we'll go to websites once again and since we can see sigma is appearing here i can click on site tools and i can go to speed caching and i can clear the caching so that uh, no caching is here okay and then i can go to wordpress install and manage i can see it is installed here i will try to log in to wp admin from here to see if i can log in or not and i can see that i can log in into my website now so i will exit the wizard i will clear the cache and i will visit my website so now a blank website is ready for you for the development so as of now you can see this particular website has a page also opening up this is the default theme of the wordpress the same thing i have also used for other websites like if i open go coding.org you see this website is built on the default uh, wordpress theme fine so we'll start changing bit by bit so first of all i will change this particular domain name that is wordpress here so i will go to settings general and enter the name of the website that is sigma earth here tagline uh, earth related blogs and click save changes if i refresh here i can see it has changed here right the second thing is i don't want this wordpress logo appearing here so i will go to again uh, Okay, when this root labs looks fine so i will crop image it'll have everything over here click save changes and refresh fine so you can see the root labs is appearing over here so now what i will do is i'll go to pages i will see what all pages i do have so i can create a something called home page right i will write home and here i can see multiple options provided over here i will try to search something like a search bar and search an earth topic so i'm going to write about earth so the same thing i want to appear over here and i will see if i can you know move this thing line center what other option i do have let me publish and see what have how exactly it looks so i published i will refresh and still i do not see my home page although i can see here in the menu bar so for that what i to do i need to do is like i need to do, go to general so for that what i have to do is like i have to go to reading choose a static page over what your home page displays and select the new page that you have created and click save now if you go back and refresh 
you can see your home page is appearing like this and your home page is having a footer also fine now i'll go back and add more sections so i'll try to see what other options i have to have i am going to add post list over here or i can do a control z and try to add latest post over here okay and again update and i will refresh once again what i see nothing right no issues we'll close it out and it will appear later on we will show you how exactly it will appear i will go and create one new page or let me add some post post 1 this is post 1 something like that and i'll publish i will refresh over here you see post 1 is appearing over here let me add an image in the post i can choose featured image and suppose i will choose any random image from here fine so let me do one more thing i will click on edit page i will also choose post over here and it will be like a post list and here i can choose a pattern so you see with image with image and title and comments over here so whichever looks fine to you you can choose it watch read and listen it looks this one looks good to me and i will update i will again go back to see how exactly my home page looks so now my latest post is appearing over here which i can click and read you see by default everything that a blog needs is appearing over here what other thing is required is like you can create a new page called it you see a lot of options appear by default so newsletter is there business home is there and then you have gallery is here project overview what i will choose is like blocks i will call it blocks and again here i will choose post list i will choose small post list like this and publish i can go back and also add a new post called post 2 this is post 2 go to post choose a featured image select a file suppose i have chosen this set featured image publish it out and you can go back to your home page refresh and you see the latest post keep appearing like this now i have also a page called blogs if i click it here also i can see all my blog posts so as of now what we have created is like a page that is for home page a blog page no more pages like about us can be added and that's it that's how a simple blog website can be created there is an extra page that is called sample page we can delete it out and it will st uh, stop appearing over here so now since we have already created a simple basic website so we'll explore other options in wordpress so dashboard is where you can see updates regarding the theme or the plugins post is where you can actually write a post and that post will appear online that can be synced with google media is where you upload media while writing a post also you can see i have added media right but you can also add media directly over here 
and then choose later on in the blog post. Pages is the section where you create all pages required as per the category or something else. Comments is the place to manage all the comments. Appearance is the place where you manage a theme. And you can also manage menu bars and all if it is a custom theme. As of now, in this uh, theme that is the default theme, everything is managed by theme itself. Plugin is the place where you can add multiple custom plugins that will be beneficial for a website. Users is the place where you manage all the users. You can add more users, more writers, you know, so that uh, you can expand your website as with the company. Tools is a place where you can perform multiple theme based operations, but it is uh, the least used th thing. Setting is the thing that helps you to manage all the website related to general writing, reading, discussion, media, everything. So now we have already done the steps that we wanted to discuss. So what's next? So the website that we have developed is very basic, right? It does not look good. Uh, it also does not showcase what exactly uh, will be done over Google, how exactly to look over Google. So to understand that what we will do is, is like we'll go and visit an existing website and see how it is structured. And also we'll see what are the plugins that are very important for a blogging website. So two of them I have mentioned over here. It is like Yoast SEO, which will help you to SEO or search engine optimization of your blog. And there is something called memoth.docx converter. It will help you to create every blog using Word, Word file, you know, Microsoft Word. And you can just upload that file directly to your website. Also two things that's very important. It's like connecting your website to Google Search Console. That's the only way you tell Google directly that you have created a website and you want your website to be listed over Google. And that last thing is like you have to connect your website to Google Analytics. It will help you to understand how many people are visiting your website over a period of time. So now we'll jump directly and we are logged into our website called gocoding.org. Here you can see how exactly the website looks. We have seen earlier also it's also built on the basic theme of the WordPress and it also appears similarly how exactly we have created a basic search page and a blog. The blogs can be clicked directly and seen over here. So it's a blog on how you can use SAP UI5 application with OpenAI, GD Turbo, whatever the latest generative AI model it has and let it open up. And meanwhile, we'll go and see what things I have installed over here. So if I go to post, I can see something of like categories over here. So there is no other ways to let your user know what exactly is the basic idea behind this particular blog. So that the category helps the user to understand, okay, what exactly is the category where this particular blog lands. So fine, I have reached toward this particular blog called implementing cookie settings. So now I present a table of content over here for a better understanding of the blog. So for that, I have installed a plugin. Go to the plugins. And called easy table of content. You see easy table of contents. And once you install in the settings, you have to choose blocks. Posts over here and save it out and it will start appearing automatically. The next thing that I see is like if this particular website is a coding website, so I need to showcase this in a code format. For this also, I have created like a post with an installation of an additional plugin, which will help me to, you know, block or this particular section in a different block. And thereafter, I can see my author section over here. For this also, I have a plugin installed. It is called Authors plugin, which helps me to showcase my author over here and the, in the very end I have something called related post for this also I have installed a plugin called related post so I will showcase the both of the plugins over here so I have installed classic editor classic wizard it helps me to write a blog easily without any blocks so I will showcase you how exactly it looks the one you have seen earlier was without the plugin and now I will create a new post over here and you will see basic layout of creating a post. You see, it's very basic. 
to insert a code go back i have a plugin called uh, in lighter customizable syntax highlighter it helps me to write piece of code in my blog then i have something called g translate it helps me to publish my blog into multiple languages then i have also a plugin for this button to appear that will help me to scroll to the top and it is also called uh, i believe wp front scroll top and i also have used seo so i will go to the post that is already written suppose this is a post and you see my seo score is red why because i have not done seo optimization and my google ranking will not be very good over here so what i will do i will see in used seo focus key phrase is there right i can write the key phrase that i am targeting so as of now i am targeting this exact keyword only that is my title so i'll paste it over here then in the meta description i have to write some content in this article we will discuss implementing cookie settings in cpi using simple steps that will help you something like that so now my used seo analysis will showcase something in orange earlier it was red so it also mentioned that no images are appearing no outbound links are there so this you can read what exactly it means and you can keep adding and it will turn into green so let me go back and showcase some examples that is in green okay i found this one what is sap hana i will click edit and below i can see after writing the content i have something called focus keyword i have also something called meta description and in the analysis i can see everything is over here right and then it starts looking green and it means that it is very much optimized for search engines and google will also support this web, this particular blog to appear on their ranking so that's it i believe in this web the, so that's it i believe in this video you have learned a lot you have learned how to create a free blogging website you have learned uh, how to exactly post a particular article and optimize this for search engine in case you have any doubts you can always ping in the comment section thank you